Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Today's video, we are supplementing Mule Deer Monday or Moose and Mountain Goat Monday. We're focusing on those two species today, kind of letting our mule deer population grow a little bit as we hunt around the little more on Nest Purse Valley. Starts out with a bang, then we go on, keep finding great animals and working on our calls. So if you like this kind of content, you like Way of the Hunter, the Hunter Call, the Wild Hunter Simulation Shooter Games, be sure to sub and ring the bell, give me a like, of course share the video with a friend, all that helps me and the channel grow and I greatly appreciate it. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Well, let's start out with a bang. Five star, Rocky Mountain Elk. In a spot, I actually haven't gotten one before. I've had good three star matures. And I finally came back to this lake. I was going to check on my uh, mountain goat population. It's since obviously we're not going to be going after a lot of mule deer today, being Muley Monday. So I figured mountain goat, moose, those would all work for Muley Monday. But look at this giant. What, a, what an absolute stud. Now we're going to be using the 300 wind mag Remington 700. We'll go ahead and bump that zero up just a little bit. We should be able to take him out. I'm going to let him... He's kind of quartering to us. I would prefer if he was quartered away and not walking. I think we take that shot. That should be a good hit. And we'll just keep an eye on him. I didn't want to mess around. We've taken quite a few of these elk. And he is dumping blood pretty good. So I think we got a good hit. We'll leave a mark there. That's probably going to be the last place I get one. Wait, he's going to bed down right there. Or die right there. Okay, that works too. Now, as we go around, we're going to go the long way around. Because I should have some bighorn. Looks like I got something over there. I think that's bighorn over there. But I also should have some mountain goat to check on. And that's kind of why we're over here. We're going to be checking on that mountain goat population. Still haven't gotten a five-star mountain goat. So really want to get one of those. Uh, I've gotten a, a few elk and a few bighorns, so that's the problem with going to this lake. I always get a bighorn usually here, or not always, but I've gotten quite a few bighorn here. Not an elk yet, so that was a first. It was neat to get here, and he was a big one. I think he should score pretty high. Well, we got a four-star mature uh, mountain goat, so this is one we'll keep an eye on. I'm not going to take him. I've gotten a four-star before. So I think we'll let him be and just kind of watch him. I've gotten four stars in this herd a few times. And they, I just don't catch them if they turn five star. And eventually they die off. And I don't find them anymore. So we'll leave that herd be. Usually I have one more herd around this side of the lake. But obviously we had the big horn over there. And I've gotten, I think, two or three five stars from that herd alone. So we'll check that. We might get another five star out of this herd we've got a two star there adult and he should grow into something big we've got another one over here as well a two star adult i'm trying to see what this guy is that's a one star young let's get that waypoint out of there a couple one star youngs that's a good looking one star young that adult and that adult both of them are looking pretty good so again Another herd to keep an eye on. We might not keep an eye too closely on them just because we've gotten a few of them already and we have plenty of other species we need to focus on for five stars right now. Well, enough messing around on this lake. We found our five star Rocky Mountain Elk and fortunately still that update where we could move them can't anymore. I don't know if that was a bug or if it was intentional. I wish it was intentional because I would really like to get a good trophy shot with one of these big five-star elk. Here's this guy. Let's see how he did. Double lung. Good shot. A little high, but a good shot nonetheless. Split right between those ribs. Hit the double lung and got him taken down pretty quick, honestly. From 252 yards, let's zoom on out. Take a look at this guy. What a good looking guy. I don't think he's going to be my biggest by any means. His genetic potential, 97.58%. is pretty good. So his score is 469. 
He might have just turned mature, honestly. I mean, it's a high percentage. I'd expect him to be a little bit higher up near that 480 range, having that percentage. But he's got the ivory tips and everything. So we'll taxi him. He's a good one to have. We fill our lodge with all five-star elk. We fill our live lodge with all five-star elk. I won't complain. But let's jump into a different area and see if we can't find ourselves a mountain goat worth taking down. Now, like I said, it's not only Field Deer Monday. It's not only Mountain Goat Monday. It's Moose Monday as well today. And I'm working on the calls because I have a feeling we're going to be getting bows here pretty soon in the game. And I'd like to have my calling ability fully leveled up before anything changes. And be honest... Not sure how I'm gonna hit, get this shot in on her. I called this female moose in. And maybe right there. And that's a pretty good hit. A lot of good blood. I, I, I'll take that. She went down as she picked her head up, looked to the right. That was perfect. Exactly what I needed. And no issues at all. Surprisingly, I don't see anything as in. The bull that was with her took off. Mostly we have our ducks, but there are two bull moose with her, and I don't see them running or anything. Very interesting. And just to see how good that shot was, we did get in on the heart. Just clipped it. I mean, that was a great shot. Just past the face, right between the lungs. Kind of clipped the right lung and clipped the top of the heart. Obviously got the arteries as well. Really good shot. Really good shot, nonetheless. Well, coming up here and just checking on the moose after shooting that one, and I have a three-star mature. Now, there's, it's not a guarantee he's going to hit five-star. He doesn't even look all that big for being a three-star mature. But you never, never know. I'm going to leave him because I am desperate for a five-star moose. So we'll leave him, and I think... I'll work on the calls a little bit more. Give that female a call. I think actually there's another bull in the pack as well that I want to see. Yeah, there's two of them there. A one-star adult and a three-star mature. Okay. That one-star adult's not looking bad either. Definitely one to keep around. We can always test his genetics by giving a call out uh, for a low low fitness level male and that'll tell us if he responds to the call that he is below 50 percent it's kind of what i've gathered being low fitness they'll respond to a call if they're below 50 percent if they're above it they won't respond to the call that basically works like this what we see is medium pitch tracks low fitness males i'll hit the call let it finish out. Grab a binoculars real quick. Got a female to respond, but that's just them calling. That's not them saying they're coming to the call. They're just talking. But as you can see, like the three star in it, start moving in. One star in, moving in, start moving in. So, what we'll do instead, we'll pull the call back out. Knock the deer grunt. That won't work. And we'll switch it down to the female. called that let's see if female responds and by response I mean starts coming in not they don't have to call back I just want to see if she'll come in it looks like she is we'll hit her with a call again let's see where she's at yeah she's walking right in she's coming just like the other one did that would put us once we take her only needing to take eight more called animals that's kind of why i'm going for females and the low fitness male if i can i want to get that third level which would mean that i could take get him called in and that would be awesome to be able to call those guys in i'm gonna sit do kind of the same thing we'll just sit here and watch her when she stops and calls 
I'm trying to get right in on that heart. Oh, there's two of them. Oop. There we go. That was even better shot. That was even better shot. You couldn't, couldn't have gotten a better shot than that. Just instant dropped. She didn't want wobble nothing. That was perfect. And here she is. Let's see just how good that shot was. Got a left lung kill shot on the heart. So we must have hit the heart a little bit lower. Yeah, we were just perfect on that heart. That was great. Honestly, a great shot. Of course, we got artery damage as well. She actually gives me more cash than the other one did. I can, don't remember if the other one was mature or not. I think, I know this one's adult, so I'm not sure why the other one didn't give. Maybe it was young, who knows. Out of the way, that's another moose down. Well, I heard that we had a four star moose in at one point. That's a two star mature now and a one star young. I'd really like to get a shot on that two star mature he is not one i want to keep around i think he kind of turns and gives me a shot that'd be perfect it kind of looks like they're just going to keep going up i could probably sneak it in right there but with them moving it's a little bit harder there we go oh my god lost his breath and that tree i'm afraid would block the shot let's see yeah, a little bit, but not bad. Oh, bad shot. gum. Got him again, though. And that one again looks like a bad shot. I think because my zero was just a little too low. I was trying to compensate and hold up. Not sure where they went. My first shot, let's see. Oh, it looks actually like we might have some pink blood medium amount of blood air bubbles slow deaths we actually did get in a long that blood just didn't look good let's see what this second shot says then leave is right here that is small amount of blood and clear so i'm not sure where we hit but the first shot should take them down i'm grateful for that that'll make the the track a little easier hopefully he didn't go too far and well, there he is down on the ground. Not hard to find. It was a pretty easy blood trail to track, surprisingly. I kind of thought we messed up that first shot. The second shot, I wasn't sure about. Well, I don't want to analyze the blood. I want to claim the animal. First shot was a little bit forward. Okay. Wow. Barely getting in there. Should have held a little further back on him. But at least we got a lung. And then that second shot, I'm curious where we ended up hitting. Oh, that was almost a good shot. Just a little bit too much forward. And he could have had it. Man, that was that was a close shot. That was a close shot. Let's see. 53.23% genetic potential. Good one to take. His score was 294. And here we are. I came way up north. I haven't been up this north in a minute yet. Uh, or just in a little while. And I wanted to see what this moose population was looking like it was never that strong up here and it looks like we got a one star young probably two one star youngs and a female coming in and i think i'm gonna see if the males will respond to the call because one of them looked pretty small and i think he's probably gonna be low fitness so we should be able to call him in Now, of course, if this doesn't work, probably just go for the female. Most likely. I'm not 100%. I want to get a better look at the male. But I think we'll work on our calls and getting that perk. It's just something that I don't really focus on that much. But if we do get uh, bows here soon, it's something that I'm going to want to have in my back pocket. Because we're going to want to call in those big fitness uh, or those high fitness level ones. And I think that's the one. He's not responding. Which, that's okay. I think we'll try for the female then. The, the cow. Uh... 
That one star young is looking nice. I think he might turn into something, if I'm honest with you. But we did, did get a glimpse at the female, and I think she might be coming in, looks like. That she is. I think she's about to break free of this bush. Yeah, she's still coming. Okay. Might need to hit her again with another call, because I think we're about at that time. Of course, she's calling now. That means her head's picked up, and I'm going to miss out on that shot opportunity. I don't think we have a shot unless I stand up. I like to stay crouched and let her get up over this hill. Picked her head up. Let's see if we can't sink it in. Oh. Oh. I'm just too good. I'm just too good. I'm just sinking them into the heart. Just sinking them in all the time. Just, just so good. Anyways, let's go pick her up. <laughs> No tracking involved on this old gal. Let's see how we did. Oh, we didn't even actually get... Wow. I'm not that good. Just kidding. I'm really bad. No, we hit the right lung and an artery. Dropped her where she stood because we just nailed that big artery. And then, of course, went all the way through the lung. It was a decent shot. I was a little to the left. Still a good amount of money from her, which is good to see. Good to see for sure. And with that, I think we're going to jump over to the lodge. Today's actually been a pretty good day of a lot of calling and working on calls. So I think we'll just uh, keep it going good right now. I don't want to jinx it and keep going. And then we end up having a lot of headaches and beat my head against a wall trying to find animals. So we'll jump over to the lodge so I can put that five star elk we got up with all my others and start filling up the lodge a little bit more as slowly but as we can. Well, and there he is for you guys. Uh, put him up here, kind of right beside our massive white tail. I think it still gets me every time I see him, but he's right here. We, of course, have our three big ones here in the herd, and then we have our other two over there. And this lodge is quickly becoming a Rocky Mountain Elk Lodge, so I really am hoping we're going to get some better stuff here soon. But until then... I'll take every five, five star of any species that I can get. So thank you guys for sticking it out to the end. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome, especially those that just watch all the way through. It means the world to me that you guys enjoy it so much. You stick all the way through the 15, 30 minutes, sometimes longer videos. Uh, just wanted to say how much I appreciate every single one of you. Now, if you're here for the first time and you stuck it out to the end or you haven't done this yet, please consider doing it. it helps me and the channel grow. If you like this kind of content, you like Hunter Simulation Shooter Games, you want to be sure to sub and ring the bell. Great content's always dropping three times a week. And then share the video with a friend and give me a thumbs up. All that stuff helps me and the channel grow. We can keep putting out good content to you guys and entertaining you guys. And then last but not least, go enjoy a good hunt with a good friend. I'll catch you in the next one.